Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate SG-1. Today's episode we're going to be covering Colonel Frank Simmons, Part 1. And here we go. Colonel Frank Simmons was a member of the NID. Unlike Mayborn, who was willing to help Stargate Command at times, Simmons had his own private agenda and became something of a thorn in the side of the SGC, particularly SG-1, before being exposed and arrested for treason in 2002. Months later, Simmons ultimately fell victim to a Gua'uld that had originally inhabited Adrian Conrad before Colonel Jack O'Neill sent Simmons into space. The impact killing both Simmons and the Gua'uld inhabiting Simmons' body instantly. Background Information Because his personnel file is classified, much of his life prior to 2001 never came to the surface. What is known is that he was born in the United States on November 4th, 1955. Before the year 2000, he was reputedly recruited into the NID by Colonel Harold Mayborn. After Mayborn disappeared from the NID in 2000, following the exposure of unauthorized off-world operations, Simmons took over many of his old duties within the NID. He would investigate several matters concerning the Stargate program, particularly its flagship team, SG-1. He was displeased by several members of Stargate Command, but unknown to them, the NID, and the Pentagon, Simmons had his own agendas. He first arrived in Stargate Command in 2001 after SG-1 found an orbital weapon on Valonia. Believing that she was delusional, he pushed the SGC to test the weapon, despite Carter's warning that the others would use the power to destroy the weapon, and the teams were testing it. The teams went ahead anyway. After learning that Orlin was not a delusion, and in fact real, he led a squad to capture him at Carter's residence, only to arrive and find he had disappeared through his own homemade Stargate to stop the weapons test, which he succeeded in doing. Later, while SG-1 thought that they had a fifth member, a Lieutenant Tyler, Simmons used his access code, user4574, to gather information on SG-1 members and use their histories for interrogation which he claimed were relevant to his investigations, such as analyzing Dr. Daniel Jackson's relationship to Sarah Gardner, who became host to Osiris, and his previous marriage to Shari, the host of Amunet, suggesting that Daniel may be becoming sympathetic to the Gua'ul, and suspecting that Tilk's brainwashing by Apophis may have simply exposed his true loyalty. Tilk pointing out that if he was still loyal to the Gua'ul, Simmons would now be dead. When he interviewed Major Samantha Carter, she became aware that he was user 4574. Simmons threatened to destroy her career because she hacked the system during his investigation of her and her team. Afterwards, he accused Major General George S. Hammond that his personal feelings were influencing his duties and warned him of an administration change. He then left the SGC. Hey, thank you for watching part one of Colonel Simmons. Have a great day. Goodbye.